the importance of running anaerobic digesters on farms. I drive by dairies or stockyards or pig farms, and I first noticed my olfactory senses going off, and, and I turn my head toward the manure aerating along the roadway and chuckle and thank a farmer because I thank farmers for every aspect of farming, whether it's for the protein that we eat or the care they take in their land, herd, and manage animal health and manure and welfare. I thank a farmer for managing everything because most of us, including myself, view waste management as an undesirable discussion. And the undeniable fact is we all, we all poop and we all pee and it, and it needs to go somewhere. We know that. Why not make power out of farm manure waste and methane and take that waste and turn it into compost and make nitrogen improvements in our soil? We love French butter, heavy creams, picanhas, ribeyes, and pork tenderloins, but some might ask what this article title means or why I write about manure management and responsible food waste dumping. And sometimes I ask myself why I feel dedicated to the back of the house. And, and I really, I come around to, we have 9 billion people to feed and farmers are doing their best to produce those delicious proteins for us in the safest manner possible. And it's not about just laying pipes and building manure pits to spec. It's about that farmer has to deal with every hundred dairy cows they have or own or every hundred livestock. They got to manage at least a million gallons of poop. Where do they put it? Because it can't go out on their land unless it's been dealt with first. Farmers use manure power. They heat their homes, run hot water for showers, create revenue from food waste tipping fees, and build capital from carbon credits in the open market. During the tough times when commodity prices are down and inflation is rising, our farmers might have a fighting chance to stay in business. And with anaerobic digester systems making power for farmers, it's about taking that waste, producing methane for electricity, hot water, cranking up the biogas engine, pushing power units or wattage to the three-phase line out at the road, which offers our farmers a way to stay in business for the long run and giving them that longevity that we need and they need. As livestock production laws change, the ability to produce animal products become more and more cost prohibitive. And that in turn pushes the price per pound higher for the consumer. Handling manure using anaerobic digesters removes the noxious odors, improves farms ecosystems, and increases yields for energy crop growers. Manure and wastewater need to be collected and held in a pit lined with high density polyethylene or HDPE. And essentially that pit's lined with insulated heavy duty plastic liners with a thickness of up to five feet deep. And the lagoon itself is standardized at 25 foot in depth. And farmers have to decide with the help of geological engineers and, and farmers which type of lagoon is best suited for their local soil makeup. Once the manure is lagoon ready, the farmer builds out a plan to cover it with that HDPE, heating that poop to an ambient temperature of 95 to 120 degrees in range. Try to kill any type of bacteria that could cause any illness across their herd or their farm. Hydrogen sulfide scrubbers, once the lagoon heats, the process of taking that waste and producing biogas begins. And those hydrogen sulfide scrubbers, or H2S, are basically a tower where the biogas is drawn upward and filtered, flowing through a reactor that captures impurities and cleans the gas. And that gas is run through a biogas generator in an engine room just off the barn. The generator converts the gas into electricity throughout the farm to power lights, heat, and the boiler. And most vessels stand about 20 feet tall and are constructed of steel and fiberglass. Have two to four inch thick insulation, oxygen injectors, and media to capture that waste byproduct from the methane. This system is engineered to be between the digester and the generator system. And to improve gasification or to improve making power, making more, so it helps the farmer, food waste products can be dumped for manufacturing in large commissaries, commercial kitchens, and restaurants. It's called FOG, or fat soils and greases, and they're placed in a holding tank where waste trucks pick up and deliver to local digesters. Tipping fees are paid, and the trucking companies offload the waste into what's called an influent tank, holding then pumped into the digester and then heated to increase biogas production. 
Once processed in the digester, residual waste is left free of any bacteria, and that's called digestate. Finally, carbon credits. Farmers work hard to manage livestock, implementing regenerative practices to improve soil, like adding effluent to increase the nitrogen, spreading that manure that's been debacteriaized. Those digesters work to implement and must be Department of Energy approved, ad addressing a calculated amount of carbon dioxide. And carbon sequestration is calculated per unit. And most carbon credit companies use proprietary software to evaluate the removal of atmospheric carbon dioxide by the project. So if you want more information on anaerobic digesters, renewable energy, and agriculture or carbon credits, click the link to Foraging and Farming below.